Hi guys, welcome to UND. I'm your host Duel, and today we are going to take a look at this amazing game engine called Game Guru Maths. Now, there are lots of people out there that want to create their own games but don't have the technical know how. That is where Game Guru Max comes in. Now, Game Guru Max makes creating games super easy because it requires zero coding. Yes, literally zero coding. You don't have to code anything. You just have to jump into this, get some sort of uh, an idea how the software works and it can pretty much do everything for you without coding. It's very easy to use this and I am also new to the software so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. But yeah, let's, let's check this out. Here we can see there are uh, certain games from Game Guru Max. So here I'm gonna start with this Escape from Zombie Cellar. So let's do that. So this is called Escape from the Zombie Cellar. Let's check this game out. Start game. Loading level. It looks nice. Uh, the loading time is a little bit high though. Look at the time. When in game, press the escape key for controls and other settings. So the graphics and all looks decent. But the weird thing is the loading time is a little, little bit high. But it is what it is. Okay, that is nice graphics. This nice graphics, I think. Definitely not Unreal Engine 5 level, but still a great game engine for uh, the people who are getting started. Uh, e to switch on and off. Nice. This looks fantastic. Look at the graphics and all. Nice. Oh god, what was that? It's a zombie? Whoa, how do I kill this guy? Oh my god, this is, he's running, running after me. Leave me, dude. Maybe if I go up here, he's not gonna follow me. Yo, man. Oops, I'm dead. Nothing happened. Yeah. How many zombies are there in this game? So I think this game is just a game demo some sort okay we have to find a key and then we have to escape this place but basically we uh, i just wanted to play the game to get some sort of an idea what kind of game um, we can make this although i got the key already so i'm just gonna open this and run away oh wow you have some you have a gun here nice there's a zombie yeah yo zombie where you at how are you feeling now huh? oh this zombie doesn't die did you die already I'm giving him headshots after headshots, he's not dying. Oh, finally dead. So I was not supposed to shoot him in the head and I was shooting him in, shooting him in the head. That's so smart of me. Whoops. Died. Okay, he's dead again. Uh, turn on lights. This is a pretty nice game. So I think I have infinite health or something. Oh my god. Anyways, but I basically wanted to play this game check out the game engine and the assets and everything see look at look at the assets it's all from game engine uh this game guru max and looks fantastic look at everything the lighting the assets if you can create games on this engine that that will be fantastic you know for, for people some people like me who have basically zero knowledge about um, indie games and all how to make your own indie games and game engines this thing is a game changer okay let's go back main menu and quit the game please now that is that was one of the games that was already pre-made let me just skip this and there are some other games like this one river raiders you see there are lots of fps games they have made in this let's see can we make something of our own here Okay, so I am new to this, so I am basically, I have no idea. Enter your new game here. Okay, let's uh, call this project Boogie Mon. Let's go. So this is our um, game storyboard. Splash screen, title screen, loading screen, level, game one screen, game over screen. Nice. See, it's so simple. So, let's change this splash screen here oh, there are lots of options in this backdrops let's try to create our own indie game okay, can you show me some more backdrops i'll take this add selected image picture escape snowy mountains so this is something which i can uh, make and then just 
Insert that file inside game guru max. The splash screen is basically the screen I guess uh, in which when, when you first open the game there is some sort of um, animation that goes on and there are lots of names that come up like made by Square Enix, made by EA and all that. So it's that window and then there is UI user interface screen that is over here. It's called title screen as you can see. So yeah, let's go back. And then there is loading screen if your game has a loading. Yeah, I think there, there will be a loading screen in this. So the only, I think, uh, one of the negative points I'd say in this is that there will be a loading screen and yeah, and most of the games that you make in this, they will have a small loading screen. <coughs> the loading time is a little bit high, I think. But then again, you, you're getting to make a game in this and this is so easy to use, so. I mean, that's a little price to pay. <laughs> Grab and move. So let's select this area here. What can we do with this? We can rotate around. Oops. Mountain. So we can change it into different sorts of mountains. Just by clicking right here. And then rainforest. Add table area size. Change into this. Mountain. Max height meters. Random time of delay. Trees, vegetation, terrain generator, planes. Okay, let's just go down and look at it right from right from inside. Okay, let's change it to a uh, forest. Okay, that's better. Too many trees though. There's our canyon. Let's make another canyon here. Why is it changing the whole map? I don't want it to change the whole map. Terrain generator. So if I go back here and so I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make, to play around with this and get some sort of an understanding. So I am not very good at this because I also just started, but it seems very easy to me compared to uh, other game engines and game uh, and other softwares out there. Game worn screen. Here we can change the whole text. Text size, text color, game complete. Game not complete. See, game complete. Anyways, uh, it's, it's really interesting, you know, what you can do with this software and engine or whatever this is. This is really interesting software. So, I hope you guys like this video and make sure to try this Game Guru Max out. It's really interesting. And the reason I'm showing this on my channel, that is Indie Games channel basically, because there are lots of people out there who are starting out as game devs and are confused about what kind of game engine or software do they use for their first game. So I think this is the pretty uh, software or game engine to start your first game and start your uh, game journey with. So do give this a try and yeah it's, it's a good software I think and I myself am gonna try this out and probably create a game or two. So yeah. I hope you guys liked the video, if you did, make sure to drop a like, take care, subscribe. This is Duel, signing off, later then.